Hello, I'm Dumiake Mwakalielie. Vincent Makori is off tonight. This is Africa 54. Well, we begin in Egypt, where former leader Hosni Mubarak could be out of jail by the end of this week. And the military has the Muslim Brotherhood, Muslim Brotherhood on the run. But none of these developments seem to be easing tensions inside the country. And with Egypt's allies, we have two reports tonight, beginning with VOA's Elizabeth Arad in Cairo. An Egyptian court has ordered the release of ex-president Hosni Mubarak on charges of corruption. Officials say he could be freed within two days unless the prosecutor's office decides to enter an appeal. He would still face a retrial on other charges. But the release of Mr. Mubarak, whose rule prompted the 2011 Egyptian revolution, while the nation's first freely elected president, Islamist Mohamed Morsi, remains in detention, is likely to inject further turmoil in a nation on edge. In another blow to the Muslim Brotherhood, whose leaders are being rounded up, Egypt's interim authorities are working on a new draft constitution, one that would explicitly ban religion-based political parties. The move would likely be welcomed by many in Egypt who felt Mr. Morsi failed to keep his pledge to move beyond a brotherhood agenda and build an inclusive government. Political analyst Hisham Qasim. They need to play according to the rules of politics, not as the representatives of God on earth. But after the violence of the past week, political reconciliation seems still far away. Along with the arrests, hundreds of people have been killed, most of them anti-government protesters, but also dozens of security personnel. Christians are also under attack, with dozens of their churches burned. Even moderate politician Nobel Prize winning Mohamed el Baradai, who resigned the interim vice presidency over the bloodshed, is facing a court appearance for breaching national trust. Elizabeth Arrett, VOA News, Cairo.